<laughs> We're sorry, the number you have reached is not in service. Please check the number or try your call again. This is a recording. Hello, my spooky friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is Daniel from Second Chance Love, and welcome to another fabulous spooky house tour. And today, you're going to be seeing another fabulous part of my home, which is decorated for Halloween, which I am very excited for all of you to see. So, today, you're going to be seeing the little haunted mansion inspired ish. I want to say because it's supposed to be like a little haunted mansion check in section at the house where you're gonna see like a check-in area like if you would to see like at an hotel kind of vibe-ish feel kind of like also like if you were staying at a a big mansion or something like that you know but you guys will see you you guys will totally understand what I mean in just a few minutes and then you're also going to get to see my fabulous spooky Halloween village which I'm so happy and excited for you guys to see so before we get to see that lovely preview make sure that you have subscribed to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops and if you haven't followed me on my social media make sure to follow me under second underscore chance underscore love underscore and I'm so excited for you guys to see this. So as always, I hope that you are all well. Thank you so much for your lovely comments. Make sure to watch all my previous videos of my spooky house tour. I still have a few more sections of my home that I'm going to be showcasing. So make sure to stick around for that. And if you like this video, I would love and appreciate for you to give me a big thumbs up. And any comments below are welcome. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get spooky. spooky friends are you ready to check in into the haunted mansion well we're gonna go ahead and start here on our tour the first stop the check-in desk so here you see a beautiful old-fashioned vintage style phone that i got from target possibly two or three years ago it's absolutely such a smashing hit. The funny thing is my parents used to actually have an old phone like this, but not so much as this style, but the actual turn dial wheel that you had to turn all the way down to get the number. Oh, a call. I wonder who it is. I'm coming for you. How wonderful. So it has a bunch of different spooky sayings. It's absolutely fun. It does have a sensor, but I have the sensor off because if not, it will be going on and off throughout the entire day as we're passing by the house. Absolutely spooky. Love the spooky voice and the spooky sayings. I just love it. it makes it feel like a real phone. And I have these check-in signs here and this was a three pack that i got from target if you remember from my haul these are two candles that i got from also the bullseyes playground section at target these were three dollars each and they run on batteries so very perfect and convenient no wiring also the telephone runs on batteries moving on upward we have the dead and breakfast in vacancy so this is absolutely perfect also got this at target Target from the bullseyes playground area and it's the perfect touch for a haunted home decor which I was trying to go for with this whole section of the house then we reach to the reservation signs which says guests are dying to stay here this is also the from the target pack that came with the check-in here sign and what better way than to make your clients and customers want to stay than by seeing old pictures of previous guests from the mansion but of course there's a little bit creepy about these pictures 
as you can see this was before their cadaverous change just look at that oh my goodness these poor souls now lost and so lost their poor souls lost in the haunted mansion here and they are unable to pass to the other side so this is a good question are they warning us of what's about to come are they asking for help or are they eternally evil and do not want us to be here these are so cool i got these from a pack and it was from walmart a few years ago i found these at the halloween section kept them up to this year you know i always like to keep a lot of my halloween decorations if they are salvageable usually paper ones like that they either are trashed or you use them only once but these are absolutely perfect this is made out of plastic but the paper frame is paper so it definitely lasted for me for to be able to use on multiple uses so this my friends is my little haunted check-in corner that is located in our little mansion here so what do you think let me know in the comments below would you want to check in would you like to stay at the haunted mansion let me know don't you dare hang up Welcome to another part of my home of spooky friends. Welcome to Spooky Town or AKA Spooky Street. So we're starting off on this side of this Halloween inspired haunted village, kind of like a Christmas village, but Halloween. So we have the keep out sign, which is a three pack that I got from Target from the Eek section of the store and thanks to Felicia loves for pointing that out in one of her videos. I absolutely fell in love with the science and knew I had to have it for my spooky village. Then we come across these cute pumpkin light posts that I found at Goodwill. They're originally from Joann's and I absolutely love it. It has little bats on the lamp post and the pumpkin lights on and off. So absolutely so cute. This is from my haul, so to keep it looking like it's abandoned and spooky, I bought this green moss, Spanish moss, and the dried up one, which is just brown. Got this at Dollar Tree, and it was enough with two bags, one of the green moss and one of the brown one. It was perfect to cover up this whole section of the breakfast area in my home so this is my kind of like the breakfast little nook where you're supposed to put bar stools and you can have breakfast up here so this is where i have my little village moving on i have my haunted house from ray dunn absolutely love it it's so cute and perfect with everything then we come over to the witch who is brewing up her potion what could she be possibly be brewing up for us today so this was another Goodwill find and this was is from Department 56 and they're known to make a lot of Christmas Village items so they it's so amazing I was able to find these for Halloween at Goodwill for such a great price. Next to her is the Witch's Brew Mug in Purple for Ray Dunn and I love that her cauldron is spinning with the ingredients and the spoon is her broom which is very interesting. Moving on, we have the Trick or Treat mug from Ray Dunn as well to add some color. It was very perfect with the Trick or Treat Stop Here sign that came with the three pack from Target. Then I have this cute tombstone that says rest in peace with the skull on it. And I got that from Dollar Tree a few years ago. And if you remember from my haul, here is my Yankee Candle thrifted from Salvation Army Haunted House and it's supposed to have tea lights inside of it. I don't have them on right now but I did buy some electric ones, you know, battery operated ones that I can use because I do not want to put 
real flames inside of it. It's absolutely stunning, guys. It's like the centerpiece of the whole town. Then we have some more detailing of the Spanish moss to cover up the granite on the countertop and also to make it look abandoned through the bottom of the house and the steps. Kind of like if it's creeping up to the house because of so much aging and years of abandonment. Then we have another tombstone, which is supposed to be like a grim reaper holding on to the tombstone cross. And here is another light lamp post. So these were individually. So I found two and they were still in box brand new. So it was very amazing to find those. Then I have my spooky Ray Dunn mug, which is absolutely perfect for this. It has the haunted house topper. Perfect for this occasion. I just love that I'm able to add a little bit of Ray Dunn in all of my home decor. So it's absolutely amazing and I love it. Then I have another Department 56 swinging skeleton. Yes, it is a skeleton that is swinging electronically, of course, not by magic, but that would be amazing. And the pumpkin and the skull in the trunk of the tree are flashing. This was also another Goodwill find. Absolutely amazing and for such a great price. And I just love that it's swinging in front of the house like if it was having a fun old time. And also from my haul, if you remember, this is the haunted house from Big Lots, which lights up. It's also censored, I believe. Um, but right now I do have it turned off. I don't turn it on until it gets darker or close to nighttime. And it flashes and it do does a lot of sounds and music. Absolutely gorgeous. Fits perfect into my Halloween town. And I have the Spooky Street, which is part of the three-pack sign that was part of the Target collection. Absolutely perfect for this whole town. And then I have another tombstone that says rest in peace with a bunch of skulls at the bottom to cover up the battery that operates the swinging tree skeleton. So this is my absolutely cute little Halloween town. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and let me hear your thoughts on my spooky town. I hope that you guys loved my spooky house tour for today. Let me know in the comments below what was your guys' favorite part. There's so many aspects of it. Um, my little Halloween town has so many different details. I'm so happy that I'm able to incorporate like Ray Dunn into it, which makes it also special. And I just love also the creepy phone. It's just so cool. Something about it is just so creepy and spooky. But I don't always have the sensor on because it tends to scare me when I'm home alone. Um, so <laughs> I only have it occasionally on, um, not, it's very, very rare that I have it on, on the sensor mode. So I, I just, I don't want to scare myself while I'm at home. But anyway, let me know in the comments below what was your favorite from the Spooky House Tour and make sure to stay tuned because I have a lot more videos coming out soon. Definitely a few more areas of um, home decor that I want to show you guys for Halloween. I still have uh, one or two, possibly even three. I'm not too sure, but I'm saving the biggest for last, which is going to be my coffee bar that has like the most stuff incorporated in it. So that's the last Thing that I'm going to show you on my spooky house tour. So as always, I hope that this video finds you all well. Make sure to check out all my other videos on my library. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. If you like thrift hauls, shop with me, and so much more, make sure to stick around. To my returning subscribers, thank you so much. Your support means everything to me. And I hope that this video finds you all 
well, my friends, and stay spooky tacular as always. Until next time, this is Daniel from Second Chance Love. Mwah! Bye! Thank you.